everybody, it's Eric from Barmster.com. This is our video review that goes along with our written review for the Idleback shooting chair. Um, first, the warning. We will have some graphic content at the end. Um, we made it to the 2014 SHOT Show in Vegas, and while we were wandering around, we walked by the Idleback booth, and I glanced in and saw the chair, and all sorts of light bulbs went off. Um, as far as my particular type of hunting, and many other varmint hunters out there, I saw that this chair was perfect for somebody who liked to keep mobile but also wanted a secure sta uh, stand to shoot off of, along with a comfortable seat um, and everything, as you can see here. Um, this is a very, very well made chair. Um, it's not made in China, this is made over in England, and the company's been selling it there a while, and they've started to ship it to the United States here. And basically, it's a chair mounted, as you can see here in Northeast California, mounted with a rest and also an armrest. And you can use it and be completely mobile. In other words, you can fold it up, which you'll see at the end of the video I show that example. But it also has 360 degree capabilities. So go ahead and watch me getting on it and doing a quick hunt. So let me jump in here real quick. Um, this is an example of being completely able to turn this chair around quickly. I was shooting off to the left of where I'm video recording now. I was able to pull over about 45 degrees because this squirrel kept popping up and make the shot on this. And then after this you're going to see a series of quick shots that were done close that I was able to adjust quickly to. recording? Yeah. Dead. Two hundred and sixteen yards. The nice stiff east to west wind pushes these little 20 grain bullets around. Okay, so as you can see, I'm set up on the idle back for shooting. 
Um, this is my Daystate Huntsman, so it's pretty heavy. It's got a pretty beefy scope on it. Um, it can handle the weight. And the way I shoot, which is the way I shoot off a bench anyways, if I'm not using a rear bag, is I go ahead and I put my hand behind it so I can shoot like this. And the best part of it, I'm completely adjustable. So when I walk into one of these orchards, I sit this down, I anchor it, I wait a few minutes, the ground squirrels start to pop up right and left. I don't have to worry about lifting everything up and making a ton of movement. It's just a clean, smooth move like this. And I can dial in on a ground squirrel and take the shot. So as you can see, 360 degrees, no issue, everything's pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm putting the weight on it, I'm jumping around on it, it's moving a bit, but when I stay still, you know, like I am going to do when I take a shot, it doesn't move. You're, you're going to have a little bit of play here and there just because of the adjustments, but the beauty of this is that you're not looking at a bench that's completely weighted down, that's not going to move, you're not shooting 400 yards with this, at least I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm using this and I'm shooting to my limitations in some of these orchards and such, which can be out to about 250 yards with no problem. Um, again, I do have kills, which you'll see some on video, um, at 225 yards, 235 yards in there. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it one more time and sit here with the video recorder running while I actually do a hunt. So I'm going to quiet down and hunker down behind the gun and hopefully some ground squirrels will come out here in a little while. Basically, when you want to move, it's really easy to hold down and move. When I'm typically doing hunting like this, even out when I'm out in the prairie dog fields and I'm carrying stuff, I have my dead shot field pot, I have a chair that's completely separate, I have a little backpack with all my stuff in it. Well, with this, I can hang my rangefinder or binoculars off here, I can put my pellets or whatever else I need right here when I'm sitting down, and then when I'm ready to move, really quick. Fold this in, fold that down, loosen that up, and just drop it right in here. And then the legs squeeze together. You throw it over and you can go wherever. You can still be carrying your gun and not have any issues. So that's about it. Um, if you head over to varmature.com, we have the whole article on this, the review on the idle back, with a lot of pictures. You can kind of see close up of some of the sections and stuff like that.
but basically I'm going to get back to hunting. Um, I've got this rancher, as you can see, the pistachios are turning a nice pink, and the ground squirrels are pouring out of the alfalfa to get some of the nuts, and I need to take care of it. So enjoy, and I shall see you on farmerture.com. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you click below, you'll get to the full write-up that has a lot of close-up pictures and also links to the Idleback Chair. Please subscribe to us here on uh, our YouTube channel and also like this video if you like it. And we'll see you over at Varmature.com. Thanks.